So you're thinking about buying a dually, but you don't know if you're going to go with a 450 or a 350. Maybe this video will help you clarify the difference between a 450 and a 350. Now I went ahead and printed out these two sheets. This is from Ford Fleet, which is basically an owner's manual for older trucks. And they have the newer trucks on there too. And it tells you certain things like your towing data, uh, your wiring for your upfitter switches, all sorts of stuff. It's a great information. And if we dive into this first one, this is for conventional towing. So this is for bumper pulls. And you have an automatic transmission, and then you have the manual transmission. Now for the bumper pull, there's not really a big difference between automatic and manual. So if we go over here, we're going with the 6.4, and then up here we're going with crew cab, and then dual wheel 4x4, conventional towing is 15,000 pounds. Now that is the same if you have the 373, 410 to 430 LS, which stands for limited slip. On the 450 4x4, you're at 16,000 pounds, and that's for both uh, 430 LS and 488 LS. If you go to the manuals, it's actually the same. They have the same numbers all the way across, which is quite interesting. Now, the interesting part is when you come over to the fifth wheel towing. Now, for an automatic transmission, 6.4, crew cab, 17,800. Now, that's with the max towing of 430 LS. If you go with a 410 or 373, you're only at 15.3. So you only gain 300 pounds of towing capacity if you have a 373 or 410 gearing in the 350 configuration. Now if we go to the 450 with either a 488 or 430 LS, you get much higher numbers. You got 20,100 pounds on the 430 limited slip and 24,100 pounds on the 488 limited slip. So there are the numbers between a 350 and a 450. Conventional towing, they're almost the same, only a thousand pounds difference. So when you get to that fifth wheel towing, that is a big difference. Now let's go outside to the truck and I'll show you what makes a 450 tow more than a 350. So here we are outside taking a look at the truck. Now you always know when a 450 is rolling down the street for the most obvious reason, and that is those rims. Those are 19 and a half inch aluminum Alcoa rims on the front and rear, but the inside dually wheel is actually a steel wheel, but that's no big deal. The reason the 450 has a rim like that is because not for aesthetics, it's for the brakes. The brakes behind that rim is significantly larger than the brakes on the 350. So that also gives you more towing capacity that allows the truck to stop. These come with those 19 and a half inch rims which also gives you this medium duty tire. These tires are rated for a much higher towing or weight on them than conventional 350. The sidewall is actually less. You can tell it's not as big as a 350 which actually does create a harsher ride when unloaded. Uh, when I drive this thing around town because it is my daily it is quite bouncy. Uh, if you hit a bump, the back end kind of bounces around a little bit, but as soon as I put about a thousand pounds of weight in the back of it, it smooths it out and it rides so nice. So whenever you have the opportunity to put some weight in the back of these things, do it because it helps the ride out a lot better. Also, the suspension in the rear, you have a load, larger overload leaf spring and larger leaf springs in general compared to a 350 and the wide track front end on a 450. Now that is about as far as a 350 wheel will turn. I'll show you how much further a 450 wheel can go. As you can tell, that's how much further a 450 wheel can turn. It'll almost completely tucked in there, looking at a side profile. And that extra angle gives you much more maneuverability when you're trying to turn around a 20-something foot long truck. Now, the reason I bought a 450 over a 350 is not because it can tow more. I plan on buying a fifth wheel camper that's going to weigh anywhere from 14 to 16,000 pounds. Now, the newer 350s can haul that kind of weight, but what makes a 450 so much more maneuverable is that wide track front end. You have a much greater turning angle with that wheel sticking out that much further. Because the length dimension between a 350 and a 450 are the same. A 450 is not longer than a 350. 
and it's not wider than a 350 when it comes to the dualies. Now the front end's obviously wider, but overall, or the max width of the dualies is the same. So with a 450, when you get that extra turning angle, it allows you to turn much sharper and it's much easier to maneuver. Also, the gearing difference between 350 and a 450 is the main factor, or major factor, it's not the only factor. But, as you saw that, a 450 can only come in two configurations. 430 limited slip and 488 limited slip. Now my truck is equipped with a 488 limited slip. Because my truck has the 488 gearing, I can only go 60 miles an hour efficiently. I can go 65 miles an hour, but then the truck's not running that efficient. At 60 miles an hour, I'm getting 12.7 to 12.9 per gallon. With the 350, with the 373 gearing, they're much more efficient on the highway. You can tell by looking on your VIN number and it says, says 88. So, my truck is rated to 24,100 pounds of towing capacity. The two wheel drives are rated a little bit higher because there's less weight because you don't have the 4x4. Another thing that makes a 450 haul more or tow more is the rear axles they actually have a bigger spline count than the 350s it's the same axle housing but the axle shafts are different and you can tell that a 450 has a 10 lug pattern compared to a 350 which has an 8 lug pattern so other things to consider is the cost so since we're talking the 08 to 2010s the cost difference between a 450 and a 350 really isn't that much a 350 is going to probably be cheaper overall just because there's more of them on the market you can find a lot of six four lariats or king ranches 450s with less than a hundred thousand miles on them for right around 30 grand but if you're going with a new truck a new f350 or 450 if you price out the same options between the two believe it or not 350 is more expensive so that is the difference between a 350 and a 450. When it comes to conventional towing, the 350 is just as capable, it's about a thousand pounds less, but when it comes to the fifth wheel and gooseneck, the 450 outshines the 350 by about 5,000 pounds, and they're a little bit more easy to maneuver around town. Thanks for watching, see you guys on the next one.